respected pastors, members of the congregation, fellow choirs. We consider this as a great joy and privilege to partake of this historic occasion. Uh, what a great uh, faith journey the church has gone through the last 344 years. God's faithfulness has been so real, so consistent, and so emphatic to sustain this church year after year. I bring greetings from Egmo Vestry Church, very affectionately from the congregation, the pastor, and the LCC to this occasion that God will bless the church and make it a greater blessing in the years to come. Representing the choir, I'd like to introduce the songs that we would like to sing this evening. The first is a lovely hymn, God is working his purpose out. For the last 343 years, he had been working his purpose out. We believe strongly that God has a purpose, a plan, and a vision for every church. And God has been so faithful in carrying out his plan and purpose for this congregation. It was composed by Miss M.D. Kingham. And one line I'd like to really impress on your minds, all we do is nothing worth unless God blesses the seed and the deed. All we can do is nothing worth unless God blesses the seed of the gospel and the deeds which are manifestations of his grace and mercy. The second is a lovely anthem entitled Come Holy Spirit done by John Peterson. It invites the Holy Spirit to intervene week after week with his love, grace, power, and mercy and protection for this church. It strongly invites us to pray to God that God should intervene the church as often as he could, as he desires. Give his providential guidance to the life of this church. And it emphatically says, unless the Holy Spirit edifies, the church cannot be a powerful witness to the neighborhood. The third and the final uh, anthem, the climax of our rendition, is proclaim the glory of the God. When we know our origin, when the fundamentals are strengthened, and when we invite the Holy Spirit to visit the congregation as often as we could, we are entitled and empowered. We become eligible to proclaim God's word. We want you to really follow the sequence of how we are reminded of God's purpose for the church and how we ought to invite him into the life of the church so that we could proclaim the glory of God with power and testimony. May God bless the rendition and make this uh, package a great source of blessing and inspiration to each one of us.
who is recently choir from Egmore. And on behalf of uh, St. Mary's Church, we are happy to share our love and we are, we are happy to appreciate this choir for the wonderful singing this evening on the day of the church anniversary. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you, Kaur, and, uh, and uh, we request you to kindly stay back until the church worship comes to close. Please join us in the fellowship dinner after the church worship.